Okay, this is an interesting topic. We'll talk about vector as a function. Okay, and that's that's right. So uh, a data structure behaves as a function. So let's just have a vector example. Okay, let's just put something in it. So let's put a number and uh, text and what shall we put well let's put um, an operation there okay so that's um oh maybe that's too much let's put another number okay so we have three elements in this vector and we know that um how can we get to those okay let me just copy it There is this function called int that takes the vector and takes the index number. So as the zeroth element will be 42, which is one. Well, in everyday language, we would say the first element. And index one, that will be the, the second element, which is the text, the string hello. And we have index 2 the third element that's 13 and if you ask for you know index 3 then we get an error message because we only have three elements so we cannot get the fourth one the index 3 okay so nth is just for uh, getting the uh, nth element and it works that way that takes the vector and the index number Okay, so yeah, um, so far so good. But if you think about it, what this is, a vector is just a function from index values to the stored data items. Okay, so what's a function? Well, it's um, just a set of input-output pairs. And what are the inputs here? Well, it's, um, if I say zero and ask the vector what's your zeroth element, uh, well, then it, we will get 42 in this case. So let's see. And that's a, that's a very cheeky uh, thing. So if a data structure behaves like a function, then well, we can use it as a function. Let's see. Okay. So now I'll compare these two. Well, let's uh, put one here. So here, if I read this, oh, opening parent, so I will have to do some work. What's the work? Oh, that's the function nth, which takes this uh, sequential collection, this vector, and returns the element at that index. So this is index 0, this is index 1, and this is index 2. Okay, we got that back. However, we can write it this way. Okay, and now let's read this. Opening parent, so work needs to be done. What's the work? So I expect a function. Okay, I get a vector, but closure says that, ah, oh, yeah, that's that's good enough for um, for a function because it does make sense. This basically, the vector just produces uh, the stored values based on the input, which is the their indices. Okay, so it's index one, it will be hello, and if I index two, that's thirteen. What happens? Index three. Yeah, I get the same error message. It's like, well, nothing is stored. Okay, so it, this is a function that only works for the, the valid index values.
Okay, so yeah, this is um, this might be a bit surprising, but it makes total sense. And I can even do something uh, crazy like uh, like the following. I can even compose them. So let's do that. So I can take Okay, what shall we write here? Well, Apple. compose this so this is a function it's composed of two functions which is um, which are vectors okay so if I um, say what's the output for zero well I get mango why did I get mango because well, this is function composition. So first I do this function, which is a vector. Um, and that takes the number zero, okay? And it returns the stored value, returns one. So now one goes into this function and that will be an index value. So it's at index one, we get mango. That's why we get mango, okay? So if I say, what's index one? That's apple. Ah, because index one element is zero, then index zero here is apple. Okay, so what if I do this? Well, I get banana because index two here happens to be two, and that's the index two there. What if I ask for three? Index three. Okay, that's still good. It gives me mango because I, I still have the fourth element in this vector. However, for, oh, okay, yes. Uh, cannot find index four element here. Okay, so that makes sense. But, uh, okay, this looks a bit crazy. This is just a, a fun exercise. But the idea that you can have a data st structure, which is, well, primarily for, you know, storing data items, storing information, but it behaves as a function, that's quite a, a neat idea. Okay, so this is sort of the same as that but uh, this one is way more elegant, okay.